Capitalization is an important one to understand. You saw capitalization rate uh, definitionally uh, inside of the uh, appraisal section. So you want to know that is that the income approach to valuation utilizes the capitalization approach. Now, mathematically, you do want to understand how to do this. So let's take a quick look at this example here so you understand how this one works. All right. So suppose you are considering purchasing a rental property that generates $60,000 in annual income. Uh, or rental income. After deducting all operating expenses, including or excluding, excuse me, finance costs, remember we exclude those, the net operating income is $42,000. So if they gave you, as a sort of a trick, they gave you a series of expenses when we're figuring out cap rate, we exclude the mortgage payment, the debt service. So they might go, you know, accounting, taxes, property management, mortgage payments, separate that, kick that one out, add up all of the other expenses. Don't include the mortgage payment, leave that out, add up all of the other expenses, and then move forward with your calculations. One of the wrong answers, the red herrings might be that they give you an answer with the mortgage expenses included in as the expense. So just as a fine note, the mortgage payment is a not an operating expense, it's debt service. So it's not calculated the same way in these calculations. Now, so we have a net operating income of $42,000. If the current market value of the property is $600,000, you can calculate the cap rate as following. The cap rate equals the net operating income, NOI, divided by market value. And in this case, it's $42,000 net operating income divided by $600,000 or point. Zero seven. So the cap rate of 7% indicates that the annual return you might expect from the investor, a higher cap rate typically suggests a higher potential rate of return. So cap rate is an important one that we want to understand as we're studying for the examination. Good luck with this. Practice a few, and then I'll see y'all in the next one.